Hello, yes, and what is good? Dre Jizzle is back, and this is episode 14 and 15 of my Madden player career. So, uh, some of you guys, not all of you, have been saying, Whoa, this is so easy. How are you doing this? How are you getting so many sacks? Blah, blah, blah. Well, it is on all Madden. I guess my guy's just that good. You know, uh, 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 cr criticism fuels my fire. So, in that case, I'm going to upgrade my guy's stats, okay? I'm going to, you know, work hard. And because people criticize me, I'm going to show them that I am playing on all Madden. I'm going to show them that I am the best DN in the league. So let's get his first game started versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Doug Martin runs to the left-hand side, and Doug Martin picks up some yards. This is not looking good already from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I need to make sure that my Detroit Lions get two victories in each of these weeks because playoffs are right around the corner. And look, there it goes again. A touchdown on their first drive. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers scored a touchdown, and this is not looking good at all. This is upsetting. But yes, now it is seven to seven, and I am just getting, just getting blocked by this. What is this? The right tackle? He must be extremely good. Now here we go again. I'm lined up. Good jump, and I send pressure. And what happens? Ooh, good stop. He tried to throw a little screen pass, but because of the pressure I sent, it was not able to work. Now I'm up 14 to 7 in the second quarter. Damn, I'm getting double teamed. Did you guys see that? I'm getting double teamed out here. It is a fumble. What's happening? And they get the ball back. Oh my gosh. I'm guessing it actually wasn't a fumble. And there goes Doug Martin. But look who it is to get the tackle. Yes, it is Dre Drizzle, number 77. Even on all Madden, he's able to do it like he's been doing the whole season. Now there is another snap, and I'm getting after the quarterback. Oh my, how did I miss that? And look, he picks up a first down. I should have had that sack. Because of that, now they are marching down the field. I sent pressure once again in the incomplete pass. You see what pressure does. But yes, it is 21-7, to and I'm up. This is looking good for me right now. Good jump. Pressure is sent once again, and good tackle on third and ten. Kick a field goal. And it is good, so now it is 21-10. to 10. Tampa Bay are in shotgun formation. They run, and they're going nowhere. Doug Martin is stuffed. Five rushes for 24 yards. Now it is third quarter, three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, and I miss a sack once again. But it's all good. My team is here to cover my mistake, and Mike Glennon is only having 91 passing yards so far in this game. Here goes another run, and here goes another stop by Dre Drizzle. That is two stops on the running back this game. Almost got caught offside. Setting the pressure once again, and Andamakan Sue. Oh, my... Whoa. And Dominican Sue was there to, to tackle the quarterback, but then I came and flipped him and spun him around. He threw it out of bounds. He was under pressure. So here we go again. I'm getting double teamed. And he throws a touchdown. It is 24. Ooh, we just scored. It is 27 to 17 with four minutes or one minute in the fourth quarter. Wow, good pass. Oh, my gosh. Look at the yards after the catch. This man's getting flipped, and he's still holding on to the ball. They're in they're in range, but there's only 19 seconds left, and I'm pretty sure my team won this game. Interception. Game over. Let's get it. 27-17 to 17 is the final score, I'm guessing. Let's see. And, yes, it is. 27-17. to 17. Tampa Buccaneers are the loser. Detroit Lions are the winner. And yes, this is looking great. I'm pretty sure because of this victory, my team has clinched a playoff berth. We are in first place in our division right now. And uh, it's looking very good. All right, so we are 9-4. And, and yes, we are playing the 2-11 Minnesota Vikings. This should be a cakewalk for walking the park. Uh, 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 
riding a bike with training wheels. It should be that easy right now. So let's go into this game. Not overly confident, but confident enough that we know that we are the better team. So Calvin Johnson's having, you know, another Calvin Johnson type year. Almost a thousand receiving yards. And let's get this game started. I'm on the line, and I have a good jump. And then he, there he goes, running the ball up the middle with a good pickup. Another run. And another good pickup. Is this going to be... This is McKinnon. As, as you guys know, Adrian Peterson is not... Uh, he's not in the league. He, some issues are going on with him. So, uh, here goes the quarterback with the scramble. Are they just going to run it every play? Matt Castle, one rushing yard. What is happening? There we go again. Oh my gosh. McKinnon. Five rushes for 29 yards. Matt Castle. Oh, and look, Matt Castle gets sacked. And yes, that was Jason who also forced a fumble on that sack. What a good tackle. Let's look at the replay one more time. Matt Castle is able to brush out the first tackle, but the second, there is no way he's going to be able to stop that force. So here's Dredger on the line. Good jump, but good blocking. Oh, my gosh. He's getting stopped, and he gets a sack. Yo, what a good sack that was right there. He worked from the left-hand side on two people, brushed both of them off, and came and got the sack. Let's look at it one more time. Add a different camera angle. Now, yes, Dredger, there's one guy. Look at the work, hard work, pressure, block, shrugging, blo block, shrug, whatever, block, shed. And that was just uh, outstanding. And, oh, I missed the tackle. And he's able to score. I blamed it on myself. I blamed it on myself, team. All right. So now it is 7-7. Seven seven. Good work by the offense. And let's get a stop here on defense. Once again, he's running. And once again, Drizzle is there for the stop. He is playing tremendous run-stop defense this season. He's supposed to be a pass rusher to get to the quarterback, but he's playing great run-stop defense. Again, double-teamed here, and he misses the sack once again. Oh, and almost another interception by this great Detroit Lions secondary. Dre Drizzle, what a stop on third and two. We are able to hold them to only a field goal. Look at this stop. Oh, from the other side of the field, he's able to come get the tackle on a quick running back. Bring him down, and yes. Oh, wow, they're going for a fourth and one here. And they score. They are up 17 to 14. This does not look good. This does not look good at all. Every victory matters. It's Especially versus these small teams, and now it's 17 to 14. My team did not score on offense, so here they go, and they're running out the clock. Fumble! Oh, I picked it up! Let's go! My defense plays hard, dog. That's what we do. We play hard. Nick Nick Fairley with the sack, and yes, we get the ball back in great field goal position. Let's get it. Oh wait, there's a challenge on the field. Are you kidding me? Come on, ref, he was... Okay. His knee and elbow were both down on that play. This is upsetting. That just took all the life out of me. This is not looking good for us. Hopefully, you know, the refs are on our side and just give it to us. And they do not. So now it is second and five. 17 to 14 with two minutes on the clock. And I'm guessing they're going to run it. How did I know? And he picks up the first down. Oh my gosh. I only have two timeouts. Now there's no time on the clock. And yes, I lost to the two. But now three and 11. Minnesota Vikings. Final score, 17 to 14. We had some things to work on in practice. But Dre Drizzle was here. And now Dre Drizzle is out. 